It can often be very helpful for you to color code your lines or points on a map. This way, just by looking at the map, you can see some important aspects about something without having to click on it or clutter up your screen with too many labels. In this example, I am going to color code my water lines layer so I can see what diameter the pipe is based on a color. I am then going to color code my valves based on their status. Looking at our map here, we can see that it has a lot of blue on it. This can not only make it a little more difficult to distinguish different features, but it also doesn't display very much information to me. To fix this, I am going to color code or classify the color of my lines based on one of their features. I like to classify them based on diameter. To do this, go to your list of layers, select your layer, for me this is the main lines layer, then select your Settings tab. Under this first option here, Line Color, click the Classify button. It will now prompt you to select what field you are classifying them on. For me, I want to do it based on my line size. Click OK. As you can see, automatically, all my lines are now colored based on what size they are. If I don't like some of the colors it automatically assigned, then if I click based on line size, then I can select what color I want for each size of the line that I have. When I'm done changing the colors, click the apply button to see what they look like. And to save all these changes, remember to click the save display settings button. Next, I want to change my valves so that their color reflects their status. So I'm going to go back to my list of layers, choose my valves layer, and now the first thing I want to do is change my symbol down here. So I, my current symbol is a raster symbol. These symbols only come in the colors shown. You cannot change the color. However, vector symbols, you can assign whatever color you like. So I'm going to choose the vector symbol here with a circle with an X through it. And now I'm going to come up here to Fill Color and choose Classify. Now again, I select the field that I want it to color code based off. For this, field, for this layer, it's feature status. Okay. And now we can see all of my valves have now changed colors to represent their status. Again, if I want to change a color, click based on feature status. And now I want to change the color of my active layer here because it automatically set it as red and I don't think red is a good indicator of it being active. I like to change it to a green. So I click apply and instantly now all of my active valves are green and my inactive valves are yellow. When I am done click save display settings. Now in the future when I change one of the, when I change the status of one of these features so let's change this one here. It was active. It is now going to be inactive. And click apply. You see it instantly changed colors to reflect its new status.